Nowadays the smartphones get larger and larger and therefore it is common to use a persistent bottom sheet so that the user have here at the bottom an access. And what we want to build in this video is a small question guide and we have here two buttons and then we also make the permanent bottom sheet disappearing again. To get started you simply go to your scaffold and inside of the scaffold we have a property which is called bottom sheet and here inside we want to create our bottom sheet widget. And inside of this bottom sheet we get started by adding some fields so we add here title and two unclicked handlers so basically the title is every time our question and then we have these buttons yes and no and we also create here this corresponding constructor and inside of our build method we simply create right now a container with some padding to all sides and inside of this container we want to create a column and then there inside we want to display first of all the question so we display here a text widget and we give it here some font size so that it's bigger and also a bold font weight and under it we have some space and then we want to add here a row and inside of this row we have two buttons so we add here one raised button with no and then we have a little bit space between them so we add here some with in space and then we have here the yes button and both of these buttons call here this on clicked handler on clicked no and on clicked yes and this is what we want to handle then in our main file so the first thing is to import this widget here and then we can add here title this will be later our question and we also add here these both on clicked handler if we press on these buttons and now if you hot restart you see here this design so we have here the question later and two buttons and if we press on them then we need to actually care here about them and what we want to do now is to add both to the different questions so that we have different questions and that we also later hide the bottom sheet again so the first thing what we will do here is to add first of all the questions so i have added here three questions and our starting question will be the index zero so we will take this question here then we also want to add here on the right side a button and this button executes here the set state question to zero so every time if we press on this button then it will reset our questions and put here again our bottom sheet to the question of zero and now we can get started here with our bottom sheet and what we want to ask here first of all if the question of our field which we have set here is not minus one and then it is a valid question and we show the question here otherwise we show no bottom navigation bar and this is basically the toggle that we show here the navigation bar or not this is our condition here inside and now instead of this hello world we simply put here our question inside so we go over all of our questions and put the current question index here inside and the next thing is to build here this on click yes so every time we click on yes he should show the next question so what we will do here first of all we ask here if we have more questions and if we don't have more questions then we want to set the question to minus one and this will care about that the bottom sheet is hiding because this condition is not fulfilled anymore and then the container will show a height of zero and so nothing will show here at the bottom anymore and if we click here on yes and we have more questions then we want simply to add here the questions and we also make sure that the set state is wrapped around so that the ui gets refreshed every time and the next thing is also to build the on click no and here we simply put every time then the question to minus one because then the condition here at the top is not fulfilled anymore and we simply hide then this uh, bottom sheet and show here this container with a height of zero and now we can hot restart this application and if I press here now on yes then he will first of all take the next question like you can see here and if I go again with yes then he will also take the next one right now we are here at the end of our question so this condition will go inside and then he will put here minus one inside and if I click now on yes then he will go here inside because this condition is fulfilled and like you saw before the bottom sheet was going away and we also can check the other case 
And the other case is that we always hide the bottom sheet. So if we press one time no, so let's try one yes. And if we press no, then he will also hide the bottom sheet. And yeah, inside of this bottom sheet, you can basically decide all of your layouts, what you want to have. You can make it bigger so I can also add here more padding and you see immediately it changes. So you have here the full flexibility how you want to change your bottom sheet and make always sure that you set the condition in this file correctly if you want to hide this bottom sheet again. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye!